W-E-A-F, New York. of Avalon cigarettes, please. Yes, sir. Oh, just a moment, sir. Don't forget your change. You'd never guess, but Avalon's cost you less. So why not always travel on with Avalon? Good evening. Friends, good evening. This is Del King saying welcome to Avalon Time with Red Foley, Jeanette, Edna Stilwell, the Avalon Chorus, Bob Strong and his orchestra, and Red Skelton. The orchestra opens the program with Step Up and Shake My Hand. <laughs> Friends, when you find a product with just one distinct advantage that makes it superior to all others, you'll gladly give it a trial, won't you? Well, Avalon cigarettes have two all-important advantages. Highest quality, exceptional economy. Points of marked superiority that have made them the outstanding cigarette buy of today. Now, Avalons are union-made from an unsurpassed blend of the world's finest Turkish and domestic tobaccos. Millions of smokers say you couldn't get finer quality cigarettes regardless of price, regardless of brand. That's why you'd never guess that Avalon's cost you less, three to five cents less per pack than other popular price brands. Highest quality cigarettes at a worthwhile saving. Avalon certainly deserve a trial. Why not get a pack tonight? Now, the only man in radio who is 25 and already collecting Social Security on his jokes, yeah. Red Skelton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Say, Dell, you've heard the story of Daniel in the Lion's Den. Yes, I have. Well, last Thursday, I went to New York and saw Nova in the Bear's Den. <laughs> Oh, what a fight. The first round, Bear looked like he was born with gloves on. <laughs> the 11th round, it looked like he was going to die the same way. <laughs> I wanted Edna Stilwell, my secretary, to go to the fight with me, but she was so modest, she refused, just because the newspaper headline said, Tonight, Nova will fight Bear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I love fights. When I was a kid, I was a problem child of the neighborhood. Every time I'd show my face, all the other kids would start running. <laughs> and they never caught me. <laughs> I'll never forget the, the first time I fought in the ring. I walked to the center of the ring and I took off my robe to show my chest and I got a mash note from a washboard. <laughs> mm. I only lost one fight in my entire career, though. I misunderstood the referee's instructions. I knocked my opponent down. The referee yelled, run to a neutral corner. And the only one I could think of was Randolph and State. <laughs> my next big fight was in the Madison Square Garden. In the second round, I says to the guy, I says, you're yellow. <laughs> he was yellow. I was black and blue. <laughs> I drew back to him, and I see a terrific right coming. I was pulling up my trunks, both hands being busy. I blocked it with my eye. <laughs> The, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the next round, I drew back the hit, I got, uh, and I heard a bong. I was nervous at first. <laughs> it was the bell, but I thought it was the horseshoe fell out of my glove. <laughs> I carried a horseshoe in my glove that night. <laughs> Didn't do much good, though. I think the other guy had the whole horse in his. <laughs> okay, and that guy knocked me so cold, they had to carry me out with a pair of ice tongs. <laughs> uh, see, but I was a big favorite in the fight ring. Every time I'd step to the ring, the people would start yelling, screaming, and stomping their feet. <laughs> but not once did they ever get their money back. 
Well, I think I've been out here punching long enough, so I'll step out of the ring and let Red Foley come in with Building a Sailboat of Dreams. Hit it, fella. <laughs> Twilight has gone And the world slumbers on I'm building a sailboat of dreams Each star up above Knows my secret of love I'm building a sailboat of dreams Someday, someday I will sail away And find you somewhere, my darling But till dreams all come true Till the day I find you I'll keep building a sailboat of dreams. But till dreams all come true, Till the day I find you I'll keep building a sailboat of When it comes to making special arrangements, Bob says, give me my honey's love and arm. shoes on. <coughs> Hi, Del. Well, listen, Red, wait a minute. You better do something about that cough. Yes, I think I'll go down to Hot Springs, Virginia this week. Virginia has cured a lot of hams, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who said that, anyhow? Did you say that, Del? No, I didn't say it, Red. What is it? Who said that about the hams? Did someone call me? Yeah. <laughs> Hiya, Bob Strong. 
Yeah, I hear you weren't feeling so well this week. Well, I wasn't, but I feel all right now. My blood pressure's normal, my heart action is normal, and my pulse is normal. Don't normal. you wish you were? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, who is that, anyhow? Oh, that, that's my new fiddle player, Roger Donaldson. Yeah? I'm making some improvements in the band, and he's one of them. Yeah, some improvement. <laughs> but confidentially, Bob, the boys do... Uh, play a lot better now since they learn how to read music. <laughs> yes, and with the six men I've added, the band will be a lot better now. <laughs> six men, eh? <laughs> well, uh, who are they? Well, there's Joe Strongin, yeah. Felix Strongman, oh. Carl Strongdale, and Pete High Strongfin. Oh. <laughs> They're all in there on their merits, of course. Oh, sure, <laughs> sure. Say, but uh, this, uh, that only makes five with this Roger guy. Who's the sixth man? Oh, that's Jack Warren, the drummer. Warren? How do you get in here with a name like that? <laughs> well, he married my sister. Oh. <laughs> well, I knew there was a connection somewhere. But say, this Roger guy, tell, tell him to keep still, will you? Well, I have to be kind of careful with him, Red. Yeah, careful with a fiddle player? Why? Well, he knows his onions. Yeah? Shouldn't he know something about a violin, too? I mean... <laughs> hey, let me show him, Bob. Go ahead, Roger boy. Roger boy? <laughs> I've heard better on We the People. What do you think of that? What do I think of it? <laughs> well, just take the first three letters of loud and add the last three letters of Jersey. <laughs> Hello, Red. Hi, Hi Adele. Adele. Hello, Edna. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin? <laughs> hey, what's going on around here? I thought I was your steady fellow, Edna. Steady? Yeah. If you were any steadier, you'd be motionless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want a real boyfriend. I need a gable type. Gable? Yes, my lips are burning, my yeah. eyes are scorching, my tongue is waxing warm with words, and my face is aflame. Help! She's on fire! <laughs> well, Edna, I'm your man. Yes, Bob, but will you love me when I'm old? Love you? I'll idolize you. I'll worship the ground under your little feet. I'll... I'll... Say, you're not gonna look like your mother, are you? <laughs> Oh, boy. Yeah, now what? If a loaf of bread was as old as these jokes, what a marvelous, tanky dressing it'd make. <laughs> Who's that, Red? Oh, I don't pay any attention to that droop. Uh, droop. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, it's Kevin. Yeah. Hey, let me hear you pronounce your vowels. My vowels? A-E-I-O-U. How's that? Your A-E is all right, but your I-O-U is no good. Yeah. <laughs> Who's on around here, anyhow? Hi, y'all. Hi, you. Oh, hi, you all. Foley's getting high class, saying you all. <laughs> Used to say Ewan's. <laughs> oh, gone with the dawn, but honey lamb, you sugar pie. I was mad about y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you, Foley? A guy'd have to be crazy to know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thanks, Red. I'm glad we understand each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But don't think I'm crazy, because if I was, Mr. Selznick wouldn't have sent for me to play a part in that picture, Gone with the Wind. Ah, now go on. Don't start bragging about you're going to be in Gone with the Wind. Why not? Isn't that something to blow about? Yeah, but... <laughs> you know, I'm going to play Scarlett O'Foley. You mean Scarlett O'Hara? <laughs> Say, that's a woman's part. Can you play a woman? Can I? Boy, show me the woman. <laughs> Well, I got to go now. So long, Edna, honey. Honey? Hey, where does he get that honey stuff? He knows you're my girl. Your girl? Yes, yeah, my girl. Why well, don't even talk to me, you dope? Yeah. Dope? I'm a dope? I'm a dope? Stop bragging, Skelton. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. Don't speak while I'm interrupting. Yeah. <laughs> Say, Bob, Edna's my girl, and that settles it. You can't talk to me like that. Take off your glasses. Okay, I... What glasses? Those are circles under my eyes. <laughs> well, take them off. <laughs> now, wait a minute, boys. No fighting over me. I'll give each of you a test. 
Okay. Now, Bob, you leave the room and I'll test Red. Okay. Hey, what kind of a test? Well, you make love to me. Then Bob will make love to me and the best man will win. Oh, gee, that's a cinch for me. <laughs> well, go ahead. All right. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> Edna? <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> Edna, dearest, look through yon window. Look at the moon. Look at the stars. What a combination. Is that thing showing again? <laughs> oh, cut it out. <laughs> it hit the back wall and bounced back, did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> now, what do I do now? Well, put your arm around me. Yeah? Now, hold me closer. Oh. Closer, I can still breathe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, put eating... the other arm around me. Yeah? You've been eating potatoes, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> now, what do I do? Oh, send for Bob Strong. Yeah. <laughs> The title, I Never Knew Heaven Could Speak. The picture, Rose of Washington Square, and the, and the songstress, our own lovely Jeanette. I never knew heaven could speak, but now I do. I learned it through a conversation with you. I never knew heaven could dance, but now I do. With every step, another little dream comes true. I always thought heaven was somewhere way up high in the sky up above I never thought heaven was someone like you for me to love I never knew heaven could hold such tender charm I never knew heaven could be here in my arms I always thought heaven was Somewhere way up high in the sky up above I never thought heaven was someone like you for me to love I never knew heaven could hold such tender charm I never knew heaven could be here in your arms. Friends, here are facts, convincing facts that you can't overlook. Millions upon millions of people have switched to Avalon cigarettes in preference to all other brands. And the reason? Well, Avalons have more to offer. Yes, they give you highest quality. They're made from a superb blend of the choicest Turkish and domestic tobaccos and still cost three to five cents less per pack than other popular price brands. Now, that repeated saving time after time on every pack you smoke means many, many extra dollars saved every year. Now, remember this, friends. You can pay more, but you can't get finer quality cigarettes than Avalon's. Try a pack tonight. You'd never guess they cost you less. Say, that was very nicely said there, Del. Well, thank you, Red. <laughs> Are we going to do a sketch tonight? Yep, I've written a play this week called The Case of the Stolen Plans, or Who's Got Hands in the Plan? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'll play the modest role of uh, Ace Skelton, a crack reporter, and uh, the sob sister will be played by Edna Stilwell. As the scene opens, I'm sitting in my office planning big things. Hello. Yeah, for you, Skelton. Thanks a lot. Deal me out this hand, boys. <laughs> Hello, Skelton talking. Skelton? Yes. This is Greed of the FBI speaking. Oh, yeah. 
Get out the waterfront and see whether you can dig up any data on the international spy ring. The international spy ring? Thanks a lot, Chief. I'll go right down. <clears throat> my car's downstairs, so come on, Edna. We'll bust up this spy ring or my name is Mud. Okay, Mud. Yeah. <laughs> Can't this car go any faster? Well, we get it started, it may go a little bit faster. <laughs> Make it go faster, but I'm too tired to get out and push. Say, where do you expect to find this spy ring? Oh, I don't know, somewhere along the waterfront. Snap on that radio. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Shame, shame on Patrolman Patrick O'Brien. He only sold two tickets to the Patrolman's ball. Yeah. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> yeah. Calling all spies. That's us. Calling all spies. Here it comes now. General meeting tonight in the old warehouse at the corner of Hickory and Dickory. That's right near the dock. <laughs> Tonight's password is tomatoes are cheaper. Mm. These messages come to you through the courtesy of Sly's electric chairs. <laughs> Remember, if you got a fry, demand fly. <laughs> that is all. Well, here we go. Oh, gee, we're out of gas. There's a cab over there. I'll go over. Hey, taxi, are you engaged? Engaged? Why, say, I don't even have a girl. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. He's a cab driver. Yes, I want those big old rough, gruff cabbies. <laughs> And you know, Mr. Skelton, it's an awful lot of fun driving a taxi. It is? <laughs> yes, you run into a lot of nice people. <laughs> you mean you hit pedestrians? Oh, good heavens, no. Why, this cute little old cab wouldn't hit anybody. It's yellow. <laughs> well, where do you want to go, Mr. Skelton? Well, take me down to the corner of Hickory and Dickory. Yes, sir, Hickory. Oh, say, that's the toughest part of town. Yeah. Why, they'll kill you down there. The what? They'll kill you. They wouldn't dare. Well, why are you going down there? I'm looking for pies. The spies. They forgot the air. Well, do you have to go down there to look for them? Mm. Goodness, why, that place down there is so tough when a kitten wants a bowl of milk, he hijacks a cow. Yeah. <laughs> well, come on, get going, Herky. Skelton never flinches. All right. I hope. Mm. Throw out clutch. Hey, you better drive slower, Herky. I'm very nervous. Now, watch out. Now, you don't hit something. Oh, for goodness sake, keep your shirt off. Yeah? Why, I know every ash can and telephone pole along here. <laughs> Look out! Oh, 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 I guess I wasn't introduced to that one. <laughs> Boy, what a driver you are. Well, at last, here we are. That'll be 50 cents, please. I'll give it to you just as soon as I get up off the floor. <laughs> There's 25 cents on account. On account of what? On account I haven't got the other 25 cents. <laughs> Why, my goodness, Mr. Skelton, no tip or anything. Nope. Why, say, you're tighter than a 98-cent corset without the thing. <laughs> well, so long, Mr. Skelton. I'm getting out of here before the rats drive my taxi down the sewer. I'll <laughs> see you. Hey, wait for us, Herky. Somebody's got to get us up. Gee, this is a creepy-looking place, isn't it? What was that password again, Edna? Tomatoes are cheaper. Yeah. And don't look so scared. Who's scared? I'll show you I'm not scared. Mm. I'll knock on the door and see if anybody's here. Nobody's here. Let's go. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you getting chicken-hearted? Who, me, Skelton, the ace reporter, getting chicken-hearted? I should say not. I've always been that way. <laughs> Shh, someone's coming to the door. Yeah? Well, what do you want? Tomatoes are cheaper. Oh, can that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you wouldn't be a detective or a newspaper man. Not in Lyft. I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, maybe we spies had better get down to business, huh? Very well. Come on in. Okay. Say, I think all the spies are here. Now, I'll call the roll. Uh, Sammy the Spider? Yeah. Homer the Hornet? Yeah. Willie the Wasp? Willie the Wasp? Willie the Wasp? Yeah. Well, why didn't you answer? I didn't hear you the voice two times. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, who are you, stranger? I'm Mickey the Rat. 
<laughs> and I'm Minnie the Mouse. Yeah. Okay, now for some sinister business. Simon the Spider, have yeah. you got that secret code message figured out? All finished, Chief, and it's just what we thought. Okay, read it. Cubs 10, Brooklyn 5. <laughs> yeah, now, it? men, we have a very important job coming up. Yeah, what is it? The Lucranian government will pay $10,000 to find out what happened to buy Mir Bis Duchesne. <laughs> Say, I better phone the newspaper right away and get my story out. Hey, you mean you're not a spy either? No. What do you mean, spy either? Well, I'm from Scotland Yard. Yeah, I'm a G-man. I'm a secret service man. Well, I'm a monkey's uncle. <laughs> Night falls, the moon rises as Red Foley and the Avalon Chorus create the musical image in the chapel in the moonlight. There's a little old church that's covered with moss. Where I held your hand tenderly I often go there To gaze at the cross And dream that you come back to me How I'd love to hear the organ In the chapel in the moonlight while we're strolling down the aisle Where roses entwine How I'd love to hear you whisper In the chapel in the moonlight That the love light in your eyes Till the roses turn to ashes Till the organ turns to rust If you never come, I'll still be there Till the moon How I'd love to hear the choir In the chapel in the moonlight As they sing, oh, promise me Bob Strong. Now remember, friends, when you can get supreme quality in Avalon's for less, well, why pay more? So the next time, ask for Avalon. And don't forget your change. Yes, Avalon cigarettes, dear friends, cost several cents less than others. You too can save this difference like all of us Avalon brothers. Each pack is wrapped in cellophane, each pack is union made. The wonder folks from coast to coast say Avalon's lead the parade. So why not always travel on? Yes, you'd never guess, but Avalon's cost only 10 cents plus city or state tax. Well, Dell, it looks like 
winds up everything now, huh? That's about all, Red. Mr. Skelton, yes. Mr. Skelton, what? your car awaits you. What'd you say? I said your rolls was waiting for you. Yeah, so is his coffee. Yeah. Oh, what's the use? Good night, folks. <laughs> Brown and Williams and Tobacco Corporation will again present Avalon Time. Del King speaking. Good night, everybody. The selection Smug as a Bug in a Rug is from Tracy Allen's Murder Case. Red Skelton comes to you from Chicago. This is the National Broadcasting Company. W-E-A-F, New York, 9 p.m., B-U-L-O-V-A, Boulevard Watch Time.